Guys, I programmed something for you which lets you control Ableton just with your hand. So the first thing we need is a camera. So anything should work from like an iPhone or a DSLR as long as you can connect it to computer and as long as you have proper uh, light here in the room so that the camera can really see what you're doing because we will be controlling it with our hands. The second thing you will need is an audio interface. Um, so for example, I have here the uh, Motu um, 4 and it has a MIDI input and output. Because we will be sending our MIDI to our interface but for my interface it didn't just work by sending it to the interface i needed to route it out of the interface and route it into the interface again so that it got forwarded to ableton um, i know that's a bit tricky maybe it's, your interface is different but for mine um, i got it working like this so in order to use this app you need to go into this folder here and open the index HTML. It will ask you to use your camera. So you will need to allow this because otherwise the app obviously cannot control um, your Ableton because you will <laughs> need the camera for that. And you will allow to control and reprogram your MIDI devices because otherwise it cannot send MIDI to Ableton. And as you can already see, when I'm having my hand down here, it has Y position one. So that's kind of like, it, it starts from the top to the bottom. And it gives you like the lowest C MIDI CC value. And if you move out of the hand, it says like it cannot detect the hand anymore. And if we move up, then you see like the MIDI increases here. So we're going higher in MIDI CC value here. And if I go down, we're going lower in MIDI CC value. So that's basically what we will be mapping later to our Ableton. Now we will go into live settings and set up everything so that we can receive the MIDI. Um, we go here into live settings, um, link, tempo and MIDI and you see your input port. So that is where Ableton is receiving MIDI from. And we are receiving MIDI from our interface M4. So whatever interface you have, you should be able to see it here. And then you need to have track and remote on. And that should allow Ableton to receive the MIDI we're sending from the browser to the interface, which the interface is in my case sending itself and then going into Ableton. Sounds very complex, but it isn't. So once we have set up everything correctly, we can map parameter. So by pressing command M, we get like this blue color here. And once we click on something, we can map it to any like MIDI controller we have. And in that case, it will be our camera. And now the thing is, if your browser is in the background, for my browser, or at least for the Chrome browser, it switches off the camera for privacy reasons, for power saving reasons, whatever. So you will need to have the browser window open. It doesn't need to be big. It could be like small and minimized somewhere in the screen. I will have it here bigger so that you can see it. But the important thing is that it's not in the background or you have switched tabs or anything um, because otherwise it won't be sending MIDI information. So now we get this open here and we have the blue window attached. And as you can see, I can delete this and it will assign it again because I am basically moving the CC here. So if I again press command M, I'm able now to control this thing with my hand. To be honest, it's not super fluent, um, but I think it's pretty cool because now we can basically play music and um, dance to it. If you want to level up your music production and get faster with creating tracks and create tracks in better quality because faster also quality because you can spend more time on quality, I will show you my workflow which I used for many releases in a weekend. So 16th to 17th of November, 9 to 6, 30. We will see us, we will meet. I will transform all my knowledge into your brain. It will be super intensive and it's only 99 euros. So it's a Black Friday sale. So stop this video now, give down in the description box, click the link, sign 
sign up, come back and watch the video, the rest of it, and we will see us on that weekend. I quickly added an option um, because maybe this browser has not selected the right MIDI device. Um, so for example here, let's say we had the Arturio Micro Lab in here instead of our interface. Um, then you could switch here now um, with this little selector to our interface. And as you can see here on the left side, is that now you're able to receive the MIDI again. Um, this little device is called MIDI View. I think you can download it for free. I'm not sure if it's still free, um, but it's very helpful in debugging MIDI stuff in general. And on this little device, you can see the time, um, the, the message here, which we got, the channel, so which MIDI channel it sent, and the value. So um, if you put the hand down, there's like low values. And if we put it up, the value increases. Um, so that will help you to debug it. Um, if you still have problems, write it in the comments. Please don't send me emails on that. Uh, we will figure it out or the community will figure it out. And I hope you have fun with that because it's actually really fun to uh, control your DAW with the hand. Um, so check that out. So I hope you are having as much fun as I do. Um, let me know in the comments and see you in the next video. And in the premium version, you can make beats with your face.